Polly Derrick and her husband vote early and vote often. We've been excited about voting all our lives. They're one of the hundreds of people stopping by the Horry County Voter Registration and Elections Office in Conway to vote absentee. While they were there, Polly's husband thought he needed to show photo ID because of the new voter ID law. But Polly knew the drill. I knew that all they wanted was my voter registration. But Polly's husband isn't alone. In the short time we were there at the office, about a third of the people were unsure if they needed a photo ID. State lawmakers passed the voter ID law that would require photo identification when casting a vote, but the U.S. Department of Justice blocked the law, saying it violated the Civil Rights Voting Act. Changes in South Carolina's election laws must be approved by the federal government because of the state's history of disenfranchising minorities. The Department of Justice uh, basically froze that voter ID law, so it's not it's not been enacted, even though the governor signed it. State GOP Chair Chad Connolly says the party thought the law would be in effect, so they were prepared to have voters show photo ID. But now this election will be run the same as the ones before. Voters will still have to show either their voter registration card, their driver's license, or an ID issued by the highway department.